Hi there, hope you can hear me okay over the sound of the waves. I'm actually here in uh, California at the moment doing some painting. I've got an exhibition coming up later on in the year. And uh, so I'm on a trip, getting some sketching done, getting some painting done, gathering ideas. Uh, so I'm going to have this exhibition, so I want it to all be California seascape, so here I am. Uh, I'm going to get down here to the rocks down behind me. I'm just about, uh, just south of Monterey on the California coast. So uh, it's really beautiful, lovely spot to come and do some painting. So I'll get some done and hope you enjoy watching that. So before I start painting, I'd just like to remind you of course that there's my workshops, my online workshops and my new membership group. So please do check out the link that's on the screen here and in the description to the video and I'll see you soon. Hi, so the sound for this video while I was recording it was really terrible. All I got was wind noise, unfortunately. I don't think the microphone was connected properly. So what I'm doing is I'm actually at home at the moment. I'm just going to talk about the things that are happening in the video and some of the things I was thinking about while I was painting and just generally, you know, how I think about things when I'm approaching my sketching. So I hope you enjoy watching that. It's a little bit different. I hope it works out. And uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly go through the materials I've brought with me you know I didn't bring very many materials from home just a few pencils and a few dry uh, materials like pastels and things like that because it was just things that I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to get while I was away and I just brought a couple of brushes with me from home as well one of those little decorating brushes that I uh, like to cut the bristles off and um, just make a sort of almost like a stencil little stenciling brush with nice stiff brush marks and a soft brush as well and these are a few pencils that I brought from uh, I bought from Michaels here in the in the USA. Uh, yeah, you know, I just not sure I really needed them. I just decided that they were quite nice, and I thought I'd buy them because you know sometimes you can't resist things when you're in the art shop. And I just bought a few tubes of paint as well. So this was, uh, you know, I didn't bring any paint with me from home. I just thought that I'd uh, I'd buy it um, while I was while I was out. And uh, yeah, so I got some Windsor & Newton Galleria because I know that brand, it's something that I've used before here in the UK. So um, yeah, I just sort of go with that rather than the Michael's kind of own brand ones because I didn't know anything about those. So just a really limited palette of um, uh, just uh, yellow ochre, black, white, uh, a couple of different yellows. I've got a cadmium yellow and uh, a lemon yellow just to have some options when I'm mixing. Um, I also bought some Prussian blue and some burnt sienna. And that was it for the paints. I wasn't gonna use any other paints than that. Um, when I'm out sketching, I like to keep it really, really simple. As you can see, I just had a few paints with me and uh, the pencils and the dry materials and just, uh, just crack on and start painting. Yeah, so as I was painting, I just threw some water down on the paper. I just like to you know, get some uh, something on the paper just to help the paint move around. I don't want to swamp the paper too much though. So yeah, you can see I just kind of throw a bit of water on and, uh, and then just start moving the paint about. I mean, the whole point of doing this kind of painting for me is about spending the time outside Sometimes even the work that I end up with, that I do when I'm outside, isn't necessarily the most important thing. And obviously I use the, the sketches to refer to when I'm back at the studio. And, you know, I, I use them to look at and I'm, I'm, I'm using them to kind of put myself back in the place where I was. So, you know, the act of sketching for me, a lot of the time it's about just a way of spending the time in a place and using the sketching and painting as a way of looking and taking it in. Because I think when you're painting, you spend the quality of the way that you look, I think is, is different to than if you were just sitting and staring at, at, at a landscape or anything. It's a different kind of quality because you have to do something with it. You're, you know, you're physically doing something with it and your brain is just working overtime to make sense of what's in front of you. 
so I think that that kind of quality of thinking and sort of uh, um, looking is is really different when you're painting so even though maybe these sketches when I'm doing them maybe I won't do anything with them maybe I'll just use them you know just for while I'm there and not not even think about them when I get back or even do anything with them I might even not even collage them or do anything but if I was just sitting outside um, just looking at the landscape I don't think it would be as valuable to me as if I'm when I'm painting you know because it's just such a lovely thing to do you know just to be outside uh, you know you've got a few tubes of paint and a few pencils and you're really just throwing yourself at it and you're really there you kind of you know you're really present in the moment um, you know I know that might sound a bit you know um, waffly but it's it's true you know you, you, when you're when you're painting your you, your focus is there you're really focusing on the things that are in front of you so that quality of looking is what's most important to me when i'm sketching and uh it's just such a nice thing to do so you know here am i i've just got these few uh, paints and you know uh, this kind of scruffy brush and you know i, I don't care if the paintings are no good <laughs> so I often think when I'm working like this that you know I look at it sometimes and I think oh you know that was a bit rubbish but when it comes down to it right here and now in this video that you're watching they're not the thing that's not what I'm trying to achieve I'm not trying to achieve a finished piece of artwork while I'm standing there what I'm trying to do is just get something down on the paper and really just react and think and look about the place that I'm in and I just find that so incredibly useful to me as an artist when I'm back in my studio and it's maybe it's cold and raining outside here in the UK and I can look at these sketches and I can use them to remind me of what it was like to be standing on the beach in California with the waves crashing about and the sun coming down and the tide coming in. I was actually slightly worried I was going to get cut off by the tide so I'm painting really really quickly and so that's what's most important to me is that time I spend there and being able to have those memories really fixed in my mind. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I know it was a little bit different. Just some thoughts about my painting and you know what I'm thinking about while I'm doing it. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, you know, please do check out my workshops and my new membership group if you're interested in that. And if you're enjoying the kind of things that you see in my videos, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, take care. See you soon.